Hi everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek, and I'm also here with Jim Long from Aries Games. And you've brought sort of a game here. There's no yes. box to show because no this is not show. finished yet, but what is this? This is Battlestar Galactica Starship Battle. So this is a game that um, hopefully we'll have out um, around the Thanksgiving time, so it should hit stores there. It was not a Kickstarter game. Right. So we're actually publishing and pretty A miniatures game that didn't go to Kickstarter. Didn't go through Kickstarter. You can do that? It, well, evidently there's a clause <laughs> okay. in, in there that You found the loophole. Exactly. You didn't have to we do can go ahead and do it without a Kickstarter. Wow. So this will come out, hit retail shelves around Black Friday. Hope to have it uh, for everybody to see and enjoy then. Now, just to be clear, because this is the first time I'm seeing this, these look like painted miniatures. Absolutely. So did you, did, is this like an artist you had do this no, demonstration? No, this, this was actually the second uh, production sample of the Viper and the Raider. So we went back and we got another update, which we actually are now sending back to make even better. So this is... So hold a, on, these are going to come pre-painted. These are going to come pre-painted, and they'll come painted to this level of detail. I hope we're getting a nice camera shot of these. So, the, the detail on this, there's actually you know quite a bit of color. Yes, and there's actually some washing and some, you can see from particularly on the Viper because its undercoat is white, you can actually see some of the damage and some of the, right. the, the Yeah, the marks stress marks it. and things like exactly. that. Exactly. So we think it's going to be a beautiful game. Uh, other than the two miniatures here. Yeah, where do we get some of these, these uh, dials here? What, what is this? Exactly. So this is the control panel. Okay. So this is where you plan how to take over the galaxy. So it shows how fast you're going. Right. You can this rotate. Here? Yep. Your kinetic energy, which is important in space because there's no friction to slow you down. So you, if you're going really fast, it's going to take a while to go really slow. I see. Okay? All right. Yep. And then whether you're going up or down a level. So when you take your turn, you decide what cards you're going to play, and that'll organize your movement. And then you combine it with the decisions you make on your control panel to actually execute your movement yourself. Oh, interesting. Okay. So is there like card play involved yep. in the game? That's these here? That's these right here. So for example, typically what you would do as you would say, I'll move on my control panel, then I'm gonna go medium speed. Yes. I will try to fake my opponent out to pretend that I'm rotating, which right. I'll talk about so in just a like second. Yeah. Uh, well, the kinetic energy will be set from a previous turn. Yes. And then when it's time to play, I simply put the control panel to match the speed, I move it forward, and there we go. That's how I move forward. Oh, interesting. So, okay. yeah, depending, right. and each ship is uh, unique. So the Viper handles differently than the Raider. When we do the Raptor and the uh, uh, larger Raiders. Right. Oh, we'll I see. So the, the Viper has exactly, its own. Exactly. Exactly. The Raider. Okay. We can also do something called um, Overboost. Yes. And so Overboost, I can actually combine cards together so that... Oh, interesting. So like... Yep. So if I'm right here, yep. I can actually whip around, get a little momentum and move forward there. Okay. So you can, it's actually a lot of movement, so what you can do in terms of your movement, the options you have, there's a whole lot of opportunity to fire, a whole lot of things going on. Uh, and like any space game, I can also, well, I say a space game where we're actually doing space in, without friction, without gravity, right. I can also, in essence, stop and rotate. So I can cut power to my engines, in that case, then my rotation becomes important because then I can say, well, even though I'm oh, so the ship here spins on exactly. the uh, on the base. So even though my oh, momentum cool. is still going this way, right. I now am firing this You're way. Exactly. Oh, it's like skidding in space. Yeah. So if so if we're if we just pass by each other and this ship's heading out this way, I can kill the engines, pivot with and the rotate with this, and rotate, and now I'm potentially got a shot there. Well, that's it. So these these will rotate here. Exactly. Oh, very exactly. Cool. And then when I re-engage the engines and I decide I'm ready to move again, then I simply put it back here, come facing this way, right. and now I have the opportunity to fire off again. To go fire off. Looks like you, you can do very tight maneuvers here. Very tight Two maneuvers, yes. Yeah. So since you're not dealing with, with air, you're not dealing with the, the normal forces yes. of, of a planet combat like World War One, World War Two, or like that. You're highly, highly maneuverable. Uh, going up and down, there's no gravity, so it's just as easy to go up as it is to go down. So right here you can see that the Viper actually is at, right now represented at a higher level than the Cylon because it's... Oh, you've got height posts high as well. So you add height posts as you go up or down. Um, if you want to run away, you could actually run away by going up, and there's no end to it. So. So how many people can play at a time? Is this built for two players? So the base set will have uh, two Vipers and two Raiders. Yeah. Um, 
we've had with this rule type of mechanics, we've had as many as 100 people, 50 on a side, playing all at the same time at a convention over in Italy. So we can actually go as so this big, is built to be played multiplayer uh, as much as you want exactly. And once right. you play two or three games, it's not hard to control two ships at the same time. So right. if you've got two people but you want four ships, four people and you want eight ships, the game absolutely handles that. And so you're just as, as big as you want to play. So every, the, the star set, I'm assuming, along with the ships, give you everything you need, tokens yes. and such, to play. Right exactly. So we've just got a smattering. We're running demos at Gen Con all weekend, and so they let me uh, borrow just a bare minimum to come yeah. over and show because we've got people lined I'm sure, up to do but demos. I'm sure, we appreciate you so, taking the time absolutely. to bring over what you could. That, that's fantastic. So again, when can people expect this, So we, we are... There's a slight possibility we'll have some at Essen, yes. but um, no one's holding their breath there. We expect to have it out around Thanksgiving time. We expect to have it in stores by Black Friday, so uh, depending on storms in the Pacific and uh, the intercontinental rail system. Then hopefully. hopefully I'll be crossing it. my fingers for Essen, but uh, right. you know, we'll see. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> well, thank you, Jim, so much for taking the time to show this to us. Hope you all enjoy getting a quick early look at this uh, miniature scheme that's coming from Aries Games. All right. Thanks, thank everyone. All right.